Rahim, welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about mean platelet volume, or in short form, we can say MPV. Now, again, this is what this is actually the parameter of the platelet or the CBC. We already talked about the platelet and CBC each and everything in detail. If you missed this video lecture, so go back to my channel and watch this. Uh, now uh, what is uh, mpv in mpv we mostly measure the average size of the platelets means we check that whether the platelets are small or large then rem so remember guys what happen if there is high platelet volume means mean platelet volume is get high it means that large size of the platelet we have and if there is low platelet size is higher but the number of the platelet get low so what does it mean it means that the destruction in the blood will occur if the blood are destroyed due to this phenomena what happened the bone marrow will fastly produce blood or the bone marrow fastly produce the platelets now sometime in the report we get that the platelet value is low but the platelet uh, MPV value, when the MPV value get low, it means that we have small size of the platelets. And if we have small size of the platelets, so the bone marrow will not produce more enough platelets. Why? Because uh, in this case, uh, the old platelets is already present and it is circulating in the blood. That's why in this case, you may also get a MPV value low. But in the upper case, you may get the MPV value high at that case when there is large size of the platelet and the platelet amount is low. And due to this way, the bone marrow will fastly produce the uh, platelet because in this case, the blood are destroying. Second, let's talk that uh, what are the main purposes of the mean platelet volume. Now remember guys, we mostly perform the mean platelet volume to just check the size, shape, volume, function and activation of the platelet in the body. The normal size, if we talked about the mean platelet volume normal size, so we have 8.5 to 12 femtoliter. And the procedure is, we talked about the procedure, so mostly for this case we need blood, 3 to 5 ml blood in editia tube and then we run it using hematology analyzer machine as you can see so we remove the cap and we dip the needle this one needle into the blood of the edit tube and then we will press the button they will take the blood and after five minutes not only they will give you mpv but they also give you the other cbc parameter as well now if we do not have the machine so how we perform that test we also perform that test manually first of all we you know uh, 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 take the platelet crit video which we already talked about uh, if you miss this so you can go back to my channel and watch it and after that then we divide it with the platelet count so i already talked about the platelet count as well so once you have these two values and you divide these two values so you will get the mean platelet volume so this is how you can check the mean platelet volume using manually technique by this formula now there are some condition diseases uh, in which the platelet amount or the mean platelet volume get high. So we have hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. In this case what happened we have uh, hormones from the thyroid gland that is secreted we call it T3 and T4. These hormones mainly you know uh, maintain the platelet volume in the blood. If there is disturbance in the uh, T3 and T4 hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism then what happened the platelet volume will be not maintained and it will get high due to the deficiency of vitamin D which is important for the bone marrow if it is if the bone let's suppose get disturbed due to the deficiency so what happened it will uh, increase the mean platelet volume diabetes it means that high sugar level or high glucose in the blood so in sugar cases what we have we have the carbohydrates if we have the carbohydrates so it, it is needed for the platelets 
so when it is needed for the plated so plated will get uh, the uh, carbohydrate and it will be divided uh, so that's why the meat plated volume get high then we have a uh, high blood pressure in high blood pressure what happen it will affect on the vessels so once it will affect on the vessels so it will also affect on the bone marrow as well due to this way platelet will be increasing and it will eventually cause the mpv high heart disease in which the blood will be not circulating properly or we can say blood is circulating but there is a heart disease now in case of the heart disease what happen in case of the heart disease the heart will not properly pumping and if it is not properly pumping so it will affect on the bone marrow then we have stroke in case of the stroke what happen uh, there is a, a blockage in the vessel of the brain means uh, the vessel uh, through which the blood is supplied to the way, uh, to the brain and if there is a blockage so it means that the brain uh, there is attack on the brain so it will uh, then uh, called as a stroke so due to stroke what happened the brain will not properly are working and it will eventually cause the uh, mean plated volume get high in this case uh, if the plated get high so obviously what happen it will block the uh, brain uh, brain vessel area then we have some cancer leukemia like leukemia in this case the plated will also get high or the mean plated volume will get high we have arterial fibrillation arterial fibrillation means uh, that uh, inside the heart all of you better know that uh, uh, heart uh, inside the heart there is a coronary circulation in which uh, blood are also circulating in the heart and uh, in this case what happened there is a low and fast heartbeat if there is low and fast heartbeat not proper heartbeat so what happened it will also cause the high mpv or the arterial fibrillation is due to the high mpv then we have low mpv low mpv is caused by iron deficiency and aplastic anemia iron deficiency anemia means when there is a low amount of the iron and due to this way the blood get uh, rbc get destroy and get uh, decreases uh, it called uh, iron deficiency anemia aplastic anemia means when there is not enough rbc production which we call it aplastic anemia uh, so in this case mpv get low okay because uh, uh, if uh, if the rbc get low so it will cause the platelet get low then we have splenomegaly splenomegaly means uh, the, uh, the large size of the uh, spleen that will store large volume of the blood due to which it will cause the uh, low uh, mean platelet volume in the blood crohn's disease which is the inflammation of the bowel uh, uh, which is the inflammation of the bowel it means that the inflammation of the digestive tract uh, that will affect uh, on the uh, uh, abdominal area and it will cause abdominal pain and diarrhea so due to this way what happen mean platelet volume get get low chemotherapy that will affect on the uh, platelet that will also get the platelet low due to which the mean platelet volume are also get low then we have inflammatory bowel disease in which the intestinal area are get inflamed it is due to the uh, mean platelet volume then we have a uh, thrombocytosis uh, means high production of uh, uh, what i high production of the thrombocytes so if there is high production of the uh, thrombocytes uh, means platelet so it will cause low amount of the mean platelet volume then we have ulcerative colitis due to ulcerative colitis the mean platelet volume are also low why because in this case the intestine are get inflamed and due to this way it will uh, affect uh, means there is a bleeding chances due, uh, in this case or bleeding will occur due to which uh, due to which the mean platelet volume get low so these are the main causes and condition and diseases in which the platelet mean platelet volume uh, get high and low i hope you guys get idea about that thanks for